Hi, Habibi here. In this video, I'm going to continue my tutorial on how to make a Unity Horror game. This time, I'm going to add a headlight object to this character's head. I have 3D model of headlight. I placed it here. And this is my character. I'm going to add this 3D object to the head of the character. It is this one player right. Let me ins go inside this prefab object and player armature skeleton geometry. I will find my head object. This is my head object and this is my head light head light object. Place it here and I will resize it, make it smaller. I made it darker here for the environment because this will be a horror game. So the setting should be the night time, and this character is wearing a hat like his head on his head and because it is a uh, head light and something like torch I need a light object so I will add to, uh, light spotlight I add the spotlight object here pretty easy right and let me go to my main menu to start the game and test it play now you see that our oh, character my character is having a headlight on his head can edit the cone angle of the head of the cone light the spot angle somehow like this maybe 100 is okay and the range 14 and add a shadow to it I will copy the component as a reference and then I will uh, paste it later um, after I stop the game now we have this character having a headlight on his head let me jump Okay. 
I think it is nice, right? And one thing that I need to do, I want to make this object a little bit uh, realistic. You see, this headlight object is completely black. I want to make the light part of this headlight object to be bright. So I'm going to stop the game first. And let me paste the property of this spotlight. Paste component value. I need to edit my 3D object of the headlight. I need to go to to edit this FBX file. As usual, I'm using 3D Max. So let me edit it. As usual, I'm I need to back up this object. I need a copy of this object in case I make a mistake I can use the older one then I will edit this object all right here is my 3d max I and I drag and drop my FX file here import file it already has three separated parts so I don't need to edit it I'm sorry guys I forgot that I have made these three parts of the object yeah this one the third oh no I still I still need to edit it and also the position of this headlight is not correct it has to be this way maybe I can scale it this way Okay guys, what I'm going to do is to separate this part of the object, then I'm going to make it bright. I will apply a material to it that has self-illumination in it. So this is the part that I'm going to take out. I choose this part then I detach this part detach this one I detach it as right part okay oops then I will export it export and replace the old file is here this one okay and go back to unity and we we lost the part no problem we will import this object again this one is this one I import it here I place it here let me adjust the scale copy copy component then paste the component here this component value Hmm. 
it is bigger okay I'm going to redo the thing unpack this without completely I will uh, resize it manually this way okay spotlight I move it here and I delete the old one then this object the bright part I'm going to add a material special material to it I call it bright part red light bright part and use this texture here as an albedo and also check this emission emission checkbox use this texture here to place it here you see this object is very bright now I think it is okay now I exit the prefab mode and try to run the game again play now you see this okay now the headlight object is better the next thing that I need to do is to add a flare or object flare effect lens flare effects to add a flare effect we can go again inside the prefab the object player rig where is the spotlight it is here add a flare here in click this button and choose flare small or this one I don't know maybe this one 50 millimeter and go back to scene our scene this scene to you see that flare maybe you can change it to another flare object mine is to reddish I think it's fine okay let me go to main menu play the game <coughs> here is the character but I cannot see the flare <coughs> this problem usually if you work with uh, flare object you may find this problem you cannot see the flare on on your game that is because you don't have the flare layer on the camera where is my camera it is here inside player way let me go inside this prefab main camera should have flare layer flare 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 layer add this flare layer and you're done <coughs> let me go back to main menu play the game I can see the flare but the problem is the flare is too bright you can reduce the intensity of the light 
to reduce the flare let me try layer rig spot just find the object here it will be faster no. okay uh, what I'm trying to say is I don't want to see the flare when the headlight is on that side of the head if the character is facing toward camera is fine and we need to change the flare object to the other one that is smaller this one is too big I'm going to hide the, the flare when the player is facing that way because the headlight is on that side of the head so we should not see the flare to make it happen it is easy we can go to prefabs to the prefab mode prefab mode of this character and this is our spotlight i'm going to add something behind this uh, light object what i will add is a cube because lens flare or flare object will not be visible if it is covered by a glider for example this glider and i'm going to hide the mesh and we're done we go to play the game again play now right now we cannot see the flare if we turn around the camera we can see the flare go on to change let's go changing the flare I think this one better should be better flare small oh not here Spotlight, spotlight. Click this one. Change it to flare small. It's something like that. But this flare is not fine. It's not good. But the idea is that you can change it to any flare. Flare object. Flare preset. You can find some uh, Unity Flare objects from Unity Asset Store for free, I think. There are a lot of free flares on the Asset Store. You can use it. Okay, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you like it. And on the next video what I'm going to do is hey, to what do you need <laughs> what I'm going to do is to add a script to this headlight object to check do I have the headlight or not if I don't have the headlight I need to find the headlight object then this headlight should be activated if I don't have it yet I will hide this headlight from the head of the character okay that's all for this video thank you for watching bye bye